What's going on fam? Eric Ellis Jr. here with ericellisjr.com and have you been freaking struggling as an affiliate marketer when it comes to Facebook ads? I'm literally going to show you the step by step from start to finish guide on how to succeed and create a Facebook ad for affiliate marketing. Oh, the habits of my heart. All right, all right, enough, enough, enough with the Millie rocking. Let's get behind the computer and show you guys a successful affiliate marketing campaign with Facebook ads platform. Let's dig in. Now, the whole reason why I even decided to make this video is because I was in the middle of um, creating a campaign for my affiliate marketing business. And I thought to myself, you know what? Why don't I share the love, right? Now, this is me actually creating a campaign. Sometimes I create dummy campaigns just to uh, produce content for you guys. Now, before I even go behind uh, f Facebook Power Editor, right? What am I actually promoting as an affiliate? So basically, um, super or s simple. So guys, here's the first thing, guys. Um, when it comes to affiliate marketing, a lot of people where they make a mistake is they send people directly to the back end offer, AKA your sales video for your affiliate marketing company. They usually give you a link and it's a sales video, right? Now what I'm doing is I'm selling, I'm sending people to a capture page, right? Where you have a lead magnet because you're giving something for free in exchange for somebody's email and on the back end, they get access to your sales process. Now just to show you really quick, I'm going to be sending them to um, simpleaffiliatefunnel.com and they're going to go ahead and get access to a free funnel, Simple Affiliate Funnel, right? And right here, once they opt in, they're going to get access to the actual bridge video, which is right here, but they can literally download the funnel right here, the lead magnet. And I said, but wait, do sales funnels confuse you? Then on the back end, I'm selling um, a click funnel. Hey, how's it going, my friend? Eric Ellis Jr. here. And first of all, so so right here, they're going to go ahead and get access to the webinar room. And there's a back-end offer. Hey, everyone. This is Russell Brunson. Right. So instead of sending them to that link right there that um, Russell Brunson was just talking about, right, that's what most people do. They send people to the actual sales video. That's an affiliate link. Um, that's an affiliate link. Instead of sending them to there, I, I'm sending them to a lead capture page. And with the lead capture page, you can capture leads. Because, guys, look. Um, and I... Don't want to make this too long before I actually dig deep into the actual ad, but you are not, it's very unlikely that you're going to make money driving traffic directly to a, a Facebook, um, a, uh, not a Facebook, uh, driving di traffic directly to a, a link, an affiliate link, right? The, the fortune is in the follow up. So if I was to go really quick, so I'm giving you guys the, the juice right now, right? If I go to, where are we at? Um, so here's my email list, right? But the campaign that I've set up, Legacy Follow-Up Series, I have 36 consecutive days of emails, right? The money isn't, the money, I'm not gonna generate this money with the, the Facebook ad and driving them to the, the actual offer, right? At, at at best, I might break even up front, but the money's made on the back end. All For the most part, about two-thirds of these emails have an affiliate offer in it. Different affiliate offers within the same niche. So I want you guys to take that into consideration whenever you're running Facebook advertisement campaigns. The money's, the fortunes, and the follow-up. Like at best, you might break even. So you're going to be spending all this money on Facebook ads, and you're not going to be making any money. Now, if you guys want access before I actually start this, uh, start creating this ad, if you guys want access to a funnel, if you guys don't know how to create sales funnels, right, um, I'll actually give you access to that same thing. Go to right here. You can claim access to it. Simple 
affiliate funnel or a link in the description, right? You'll be able to access the funnel, right? You'll be able to access the funnel for affiliate marketers who have been struggling, who don't know how to create sales funnels. I literally created a, a template for you for free. So that way you can capture leads. Now, down below, or you can go to simpleaffiliatefunnel.com. Now, let's dig deep, right? Now, I use Power Editor, guys. The reason why is because you can create multiple campaigns, multiple ad sets, multiple ads. If you don't know how to uh, use Power Editor yet, go to um, business.facebook.com, create a business account. You simply go to the these, right? You can go to Ads Manager, but I use Power Editor, right? Now, the difference between Power Editor and... Um, and as manager is that as managers, the ads will actually show up on your fan page, business, um, excuse me, power editor, they won't, right? So um, if I was to go to campaigns and I was to go like, so I have two campaigns that I'm running right now that are in the starting phase, but look how many ads, right? I had three ads already, shut them off. Three ad, ads again that I'm testing, um, they're not performing how I want, so that's six ads, right? What I'm gonna do is actually start Another campaign. I was doing a video views campaign. Now I'm actually doing a, a cost per click. So video ad cost per click. So I'm going to um, this campaign, right? So first step, there's three steps to creating a Facebook ad. Number one is creating your campaign. I prefer Power Editor so that way you can do all this testing. Um, so you create a campaign, then you create ad sets, then you create an ad. Now my usual process um, of actually creating a Facebook ads campaign is I do I create the campaign right now whenever you're creating a campaign just to show you guys because I already did this step um, you figure out what the campaign name is and then you figure out what your objective is is it do you want clicks to your website do you want lead generation do you want page likes do you want conversions do you want video views do you want brand awareness do you want reach whatever you want I personally want clicks to my sales funnel, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do traffic. Now I already did that and the campaign is created. Now the next step that I usually do is I create multiple ad sets, a minimum of three. The sweet spot is about five, right? So I like to create five ad sets at $5 a day, which will have me spending $25 a day. And then what I do is if I was to go back, right go back to this campaign what I do is let's just say one of these ad sets or these ads under the ad sets were uh, doing pretty well if you notice where is it so I was I paid a dollar and eighty for this click and for these for these other this ad and this ad I didn't get any clicks and I was spending around two dollars so me personally I like if, if it's a dollar click fine but anything above a dollar click, I like to stay away. So in this case, right, I'll create a whole bunch of ad sets. And if I don't like it, what I'm going to do is simply, um, if I don't like it, I'm going to switch them off, right? Switch them off, switch them off, switch them off. Um, if I do like it, I'm going to keep it running, right? So I have these running right now, depending on what the cost per click is. If you notice, amount spent 49 cents, 50 cents, 71 cents. Um, and... I have no clicks. So we're gonna see, we're gonna leave it on, right? But I'm creating, I'm not gonna wait for it. I'm gonna be proactive and create another ad. So that's what the, that's where this video comes in, right? So we're gonna select the cost per click campaign. I did traffic for this one. And I would usually create multiple ad sets. Then what I would do is simply create an ad under the ad set and then I duplicate the ad for the different ad sets. But for time's sake, what I'm gonna do is simply create an ad set right so we're gonna go to edit right here so I was already working on it right now guys understand depending on your niche for your affiliate marketing business and the offer that you're offering up front I promise you if you try to if you try to copy this this isn't gonna work because your offer is gonna be completely different from what I'm offering guys congruence is very important when it comes to Facebook ads meaning if I'm offering a sales funnel I'm gonna be having I'm going to be targeting those type of people and I'm also going to be um, have a specific type of ad copy if I'm targeting people for health and wellness different ad copy different targeting if I'm targeting people to for make money online 
different different uh, audience, different ad copy, right? So this is for my specific ad copy, but I just want you to basically peek behind my actual shoulder to show you my process of what I actually do for my affiliate offers, right? Now, what I did is the first thing is I always start at a daily budget of $5 a day, right? And I want to always uh, schedule as ongoing and then I have control. I'll click it off or I'll click it on, right? Now, what I'm going to do is United States, Australia, and Canada, right? Um, and me personally, I'm 24 years old, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, create people who would be congruent. I'm trying to build a millennial audience, right? But I don't go as low as 18 because eight people who are 18 usually don't have money yet. 21 years old, people have maybe figured out what they want to do in life, they're in college, right, they have a little money, they got a job, right, so I'm targeting those type of people, and then 35 years old, those are, the, those are the, real, the real money, right, now anything above that would be definitely beneficial for me, but me personally, because I'm trying to build a brand for myself, I'm thinking really long term, I'm trying to build a brand for millennials, because I want millennials to follow me, and millennials are the future, majority of the people who watch my content on YouTube and on Facebook and everything of that nature are millennials, right? So I want to continue that. Next is no no discrimination against women, but men tend to convert better for me, right? Because I'm a man, I'm going to get more of a bang for my buck. And when it comes to advertising, it's not being discriminate. It's no, what's going to put the most money in my pocket? Now, what I usually do is I create a broad audience. And then what I do is I scale down. So I'll even... Um, I'll go back on this, even though I shouldn't be doing this, but it's whatever, right? So what I did is I started off a broad audience, content marketing, search engine marketing, social media marketing, digital marketing, right? Which had me at 1.3 million people. Now that audience is way too big. And guys, the same thing goes for if you're doing like health and wellness, if you're doing romance. Uh, the reason why I say health and wellness and romance is because those are the big three niches, make money, not make money, but health, wealth, and romance. So mine is personally wealth, but then also I'm targeting affiliate marketers who, so my target audience, right? Yours might be completely different. Most likely it will be. So you have to, you have to do this process for whoever your target audience is. So first and foremost, I need you, before you even move forward, you need to think who's your target audience. Mine is basically millennial right in this case for what I'm offering they're a millennial they're in affiliate marketing and they are looking to basically get results in their business but they're struggling that's my target audience so I'm gonna go ahead and target that type of person right now I'm gonna try one of these audiences for that specific niche but there's different type of audiences right so you want to create multiple ad sets but for this one what I did is content marketing search engine marketing social media marketing digital marketing and then what I'm doing is I'm targeting internet marketers, right? So internet marketers would be, um, start with Frank Kern, Frank Kern, right? And then the easiest way, guys, is if you don't know, right, is simply as soon as you put an interest, type suggest, click suggestions. So Ryan Dees, he's a marketer. Neil Patel, he's a marketer. Amy Portfield, marketer. Tim Ferriss, marketer. Um, Marie, no idea, but I'm assuming they're a marketer. If you don't know who they are, you could simply Google them. So who's Marie for Leo? Google Marie for Leo. So Marie for Leo. So whatever you're offering, would they be interested? Marie for Leo, American Life Coach, Motivational Speaker, Author, Web Television. Uh, I don't know, but I'll just go ahead and keep her just in case, right? Keep her just in case, right? Marie for Leo probably wouldn't hurt. Um, but actually, to be more targeted, I'm going to keep her out of this. Um, Mike Dillard, I know he's an internet marketer for sure. So, um, Russell Brunson, he is an internet marketer. However, I'm going to keep him out of the mix because what I'm offering on the back end is a Russell Brunson affiliate product. So with that being said, I know a million and one people for the same type of offer are targeting this. So instead, and I know he's targeting it. So instead of freaking everybody and their mother targeting it, I'm going to go ahead and actually exclude this in a second. But also, is there anybody else? 
So guys, I'll, I'll, I'll be fine with 83, um, 83 people, 83,000 people. That's really good, actually. So it's not too broad, not too specific. Now what I'm going to do is actually exclude people. Russell Brunson. Russell Brunson. So my audience is narrowed down to 72,000 people. Now why is it narrowed down? Because if you look down here, I edited my placements and I did desktop only. Now guys, mobile is really good. But the reason why I'm doing desktop only is because I'm pushing for a uh, a, a download of a, a sales funnel, right? And if they download the sales funnel, um, I would actually, uh, and they decided to move forward with it, they become, I get an affiliate, a residual affiliate commission. Now, with that being said, the reason why um, I'm doing desktop is because you can't download a sales funnel on a smartphone, right? So you have to be very strategic. You have to think about these things when it comes to running your marketing campaigns. Also, I'm not going to do article because I'm doing a video. I'm not going to do write column. I'm not going to do in stream. I'm not going to do Instagram because Instagram is only 60 seconds. And again, Instagram is like 80% mobile. So I'm not going to do that. And last but not least, specific mobile device operating. Nope. So we're going to do link clicks. Link clicks. And we're going to do automatic because they're going to optimize um, the best. Now, I'm actually going to do, when I get charged, I'm going to do uh, cost per click. I don't want to get charged for impressions. An impression is when somebody sees or actually an impression is when it's displayed in front of somebody, a link click, I'm gonna, I'm gonna charge calls per click, right? So with that being said, now I have my audience. Now what I wanna do is actually save the audience. So the best way to save it, right? So ad set one, SAF, that's my offer, uh, simple affiliate funnel, then US, Canada, Australia, men, 21 to 35, and then O, I do abbreviations, O N L M K T, that means online marketing. So that's for this right here, online marketing. Or actually I can even make it, that's fine. And then online marketers, online marketers, right? 2718. So that's the date. Next, what I'm gonna do, um, we're not doing anything towards custom, but I'm gonna actually save this audience. So save this audience. And I don't need to put ad set. I don't need to put the offer. I'm simply just saving the actual audience. And then you don't need the, the date for the audience. So we're going to save that. Now the next step would be the actual ad. So I have the, I have the campaign, which is cost per clicks, website traffic. I'm going to be driving them um, to the sales funnel. Then the next step would be... Um, ads right so now we need to create an ad so we're gonna go ahead and press simply press we're gonna select the ad now if you're on power if you're on uh, ads manager it's a little bit different but this is power editor so we're gonna click the button right here and then there's a couple things right so I'm gonna do a, a video ad for this one for right now but I'm also gonna be doing different ads right testing tweaking guys Facebook ads is all about testing tweaking People think they're going to be successful off of one Facebook ad, right? Just to show you guys really quick, because I want to, I want to like wrap your head around this. If I go into these and then I go into ad sets and I select all these ad sets, and then I go into ads. Right now, this is my seventh ad and I'm not happy with these six. Guys, I'm doing a seventh ad. I'm actually going to do nine. So I'm going to do two more after this video. But what I want you guys to understand is that testing and tweaking is once you get the cost per click that you're looking for and you're driving traffic to your sales funnels, then with your actual sales funnel, what you want to do is start split testing your sales funnel. And that's a whole another avenue. That's a whole another aspect. But this is the, the, the ad portion, right? So ad set one. Um, we're going to stick with that one. Then we're going to stick with this ad. And guys, sorry to keep on going back, but guys, I have this very organized because it's so easy 
to forget what ad is what ad, what ad set is what ad set, especially when you're testing and tweaking. So video ad one, video ad two, video ad three, and then I have everything right here, ad set one, SAF, right? So you want it to be basically, um, you want it to be easy to find. So next step would be creating the ad. So for time's sake, sake, thank goodness I have freaking the ad copy already written, but I'll actually read it to you. And guys, I love using emojis, right? So we're gonna we're gonna do so website URL simple affiliate funnel dot com and then no it is not but it's okay then what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go ahead and add a video you use existing post nope I don't want to use that all right so we're gonna create add image or video so video select the video I have the ad the video ad already all right guys you guys could do video or non video you guys don't have this is a understand this is a cost per click campaign so you don't have to have a video you can simply use an image right um, so it's all dependent on what you guys want to do but you want it to be eye capturing right so the next step is the text so um, Basically, the text is what's going to show above your actual ad. So before I read this out, we want to go ahead and um, so headline. Why do most affiliate marketers fail? Simple trick to avoid a set of ninety seven people like statistics. Simple trick to avoid the scary ninety seven percent. Why do 97% of affiliate marketers fail? Simple trick scary 97%. Alright, so that's my headline, right? And then this Simple trick will completely save your affiliate marketing business. Automating this will help you put your affiliate marketing business on cruise control. So why do 97% of affiliate marketers fail? Simple trick to avoid the scary 97%. So, and then the call to action button, right? Now let's read the ad copy. Now, believe it or not, guys, I'm not sure if this uh, if this ad copy or actually no, the the ad copy did get approved, so I just did an ad with this ad copy. So affiliate marketing sucks, right? What is that for? Anybody who's in affiliate marketing is automatically going, guys. Negativity sells, right? So anybody who's in a, affiliate marketing is going to read this and be like, holy shit, like what do you mean it sucks? And then they're going to read it. 
naturally they're going to be in defensive mode until they actually read it. And once I have a, a compelling, conveying message, right, they're going to go ahead and um, actually take action on what I'm offering, right? And then I follow up with, for those who haven't learned to automate their business. 97% of people who are affiliates are doing it all wrong. And it's actually congruent with this right here, um, with my headline, right? When I first started, started affiliate marketing, affiliate marketing, guys, and this is where the money's made. People love when I actually, um, people love reading my ad copy, right? When I first started affiliate marketing, I used to try and reach out to my friends, my family, my contact list. Wait. My friends, my family, my contact list, my contact list, and my and everybody, everyone on my Facebook Messenger. I said and couldn't. I couldn't figure out why people didn't want to buy what I was promoting. Feeling like quitting, I almost gave up until. I remember all those people telling me I wouldn't make it, get a real job. My pride wouldn't let me do it. Fast forward to today, my business is booming and I travel full time. How? And let me, that's a little spacer. Because I have learned a skill set that can pay me from anywhere. Simply because I found a mentor who showed me the right way to promote my business and affiliate products. He showed me how to incorporate sales funnels in my business to completely set my affiliate marketing business on autopilot. Because I've been in your shoes, I've experienced many failures. And finally, have achieved... Where are we at? Guys, if you guys don't have Grammarly, Grammarly is freaking amazing because I can't spell for nothing, right? But it helps so much. Because I've been in your shoes, I've experienced many failures and finally have achieved the breakthrough that I deserve. Um, I decided to hook you up too. Give you the shortcut to... Now, guys, the reason why I said shortcut is because people like easy stuff, right? Shortcut so you don't have to go through the pain and heartache that I went through. I'm going to give you access to the simple affiliate funnel, which is a three, which is a simple three-step online sales funnel template. You can plug and play whatever you're promoting and incorporate it in your business to generate sales on autopilot and crush it. Simple affiliate. Oh, here's the call to action link, right? This free download will allow you to ethically steal the secret sauce responsible for over 92,000 successful affiliates, online businesses, and counting. P.S. What, what's pretty cool is even if you're not an affiliate and want to sell something online on autopilot, you can use this plug and play template to get results. P.S. P.S.S. People sell sales funnels for $5K to $10,000 a pop, which is absolutely true. Five thousand to ten thousand dollars a pop. Grab yours for free now before I realize I bump my head and start charging for this. No, like for real. <laughs> See, I laugh myself. I'm a jokester. So click the link below to claim your free simple affiliate funnel before I change my mind. Simple affiliate funnel. Thank me later, right, Eric? Thank me later. Yours truly. Eric. So with that being said, guys, I'm simply talking about the struggle, I'm talking about people, people who can relate to uh, struggling in their affiliate marketing business, right? And the problem is what I'm, I'm, I'm hitting them with that pain, talking about like reaching out to people, not getting sales, not generating income, talking about wanting to quit because people reading this copy who have, that 97% is real, guys. You watching this video are most likely an affiliate marketer, right? or trying to succeed in affiliate marketing, the, the, the struggle is freaking real. So people reading this are like, yeah, you're right, Eric. What, 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 what is, 
stop me from succeeding. And I'm telling people it's, it's automation. Now, is there more to it? 100%, right? Knowing how to do Facebook ads, knowing how to do advertising, knowing how to do email marketing, knowing how to do follow-up, right? But what I'm positioning is what I'm selling, right? Which is actually absolutely free. It's the simple affiliate funnel, right? So with that being said, what I'm positioning is the solution is what I'm offering. And then what's going to happen is, right, um, let's just double check, right? Why do 97% of affiliate marketers fail? Simple trick to avoid the scary 97%. The simple trick will completely save your affiliate marketing business. This will help you put your affiliate marketing business on cruise control, right? And then, um, review. That's relevant. So I'm going to confirm. Boom. So guys, that ad is up. I'm going to wait. It's going to be pending, right? And what's going to happen is they're going to come across that ad. And they're gonna come across my sales funnel and this same sales funnel, right, that I'm using is the three step, this is the simple, this is a simple affiliate funnel, guys. Exactly what I'm talking about, right? Simple affiliate funnel. And I'm driving them to this traffic. So I'm literally practicing what I'm preaching. And my ad is congruent because I'm talking about the 90, 92,000 people, I'm talking about the free funnel, I'm talking about the secret sauce. So guys, when it, one thing why a lot of people aren't successful with Facebook ads is because whatever they're driving the people to isn't even congruent with what they're offering. Now, if you look, there's a little bit of social proof and everything of that nature to this funnel. But guys, where people go wrong is exactly what I'm talking about, right? They drive traffic to an actual offer, an affiliate link instead of capturing a lead, right? So let's look at this funnel real quick on this page. Capture lead, thank you page, affiliate offer. Capture lead, right? I captured the lead. Let me go back because Eric Ellis at gmail.com. God damn it. So the next page, that's because I've opted in too many times. Eric Jones. Come on, baby. So thank you page, just like on the funnel, they get access to this, right? The free download, but wait, how to set up automated systems to generate sales on hey, autopilot, even as a beginner. And first of all, I wanna say congratulations for getting access to the simple affiliate funnel. Now that funnel is somewhere around here, uh, instant access, you can actually download that. And I also did send you um, an email with an instant download as well just in case right but that would be very important in regards to your success as an affiliate i was struggling immensely when i first started affiliate marketing because i didn't understand the true power of automation right however that is just the template and if you want to know how to actually implement that actual funnel what i want to do is i want to go ahead and give you an exclusive invite to a special webinar that has completely transformed my life and my affiliate. All right, guys. So, as you heard, I'm I'm guiding them to the actual webinar, which is right here, right. And this is where the money's made. Hopefully, the sales that hey, everyone, generated. Everyone, this is Russell Brunson. I want to welcome you guys. Here's to my affiliate link, webinar. affiliate ID. Before I get, uh... so there's my affiliate link, right, guys. I'm building a list. And once I build that list, if you look here, right, if you look at that list, they're going to get access to 36 emails. So, guys, this is true automation. Facebook ads. I'm going to be driving them to this. Once I drive them to my actual capture page, and this is why people fail with Facebook ads, because they don't, they try to, especially with affiliate marketing, they try to drive them to an affiliate link. So instead of just driving them to that webinar, which I could, I'm literally driving them to the sales process, capturing the leads, and then the money is going to be made with this follow-up series, right? So with that being said, um, that same exact funnel that I'm using and I'm driving traffic to with this actual sales process, the Simple Affiliate Funnel, if you want to, if you want to grab it yourself, go to simpleaffiliatefunnel.com or I'll even leave you access to that below. Um, if this is...
uh, in the back office of a course. I'll leave access to it. If this is in um, on YouTube, go ahead and grab access to that below. It'll be in the freaking description. Grab access to it so that way you can do this and that way you can actually crush it on Facebook ads. Because if you're doing it, if you're, if you're just driving traffic to an affiliate link, you're doing it all wrong, right? Set up automation. Guys, this is on autopilot. Once I have a converting sales funnel, or excuse me, Facebook ad, I'm literally gonna set this on autopilot and then literally on autopilot, this is gonna just commissions, 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 because these emails are gonna be driving them. Just kind of give you an example. Um, and I know this video is way more longer than you guys anticipated, but I wanna show you guys this, right? So here's one of my emails. And I'll also leave access to Weber, AWeber below, right? So basically, I'm, uh, here's the link. Here's the two links they're going to get access to, and then it's going to generate affiliate commissions. Guys, the fortunes in the follow-up. Sorry for the long, long time, but I usually don't go this in-depth with my videos. Um, but I promise you it's going to be worth it for you. That's how you guys do a Facebook ads campaign from start to finish. And guys, the money is in... Not just the Facebook ads, but it's in the back end, right? Understand that. Get an email autoresponder. Get a sales funnel. If you don't know how to create a sales funnel, I simply created one for you. Link in the description or go to simple, um, simpleaffiliatefunnel.com. And then plug and play. Put your affiliate offer. Put the stuff in. Just like I had on mine, you would simply create it, right, for your affiliate offer. Drive traffic with your Facebook ads. Make sure... Right when you're looking at your um, Facebook uh, ads, right, and you have everything, you have all the campaigns. You simply open it up, and then you can see what they're converting at. You can look at all this data; it might look a little bit confusing, but it, you'll figure it out, right? Make sure you're getting a low cost per click. Once you're getting a low cost per click, literally everything's on autopilot. You can be sipping pina coladas on the beach. You can be freaking traveling full time, like I do. That's what I do this for. Um, and I teach others how to do this because at the end of the day, um, I'm trying to build a legacy and I'm trying to help people out. So with that being said, shameless plugs, grab the simple affiliate funnel down below. Grab access to, um, uh, I'll actually leave uh, AWeber as well so that way you can create an autoresponder or get a, get a software so that way you can start doing email marketing as well. And last but not least, Wolf's Entourage Mastermind Group. Get access to that below. Um, exactly. For free, I drop valuable content in there all the freaking time. All right, guys. Now, if you enjoyed that video, I need you to go ahead and smash that damn subscribe button. I meant the like button, but I need you to smash that subscribe button too. So that way you can grab access to my future valuable content. Now, I knew that video was fire. I'm, I'm not going to lie. That was some of my best shit. I'm not even going to lie. I let you in a little bit of secrets. Um, but it doesn't matter if you've grabbed it and you don't apply it. Make sure you freaking apply what you learned in this video. And if you haven't already incorporated sales funnels in your freaking affiliate marketing business, you have no hope when it comes to Facebook ads, right? Go ahead, link in the description, grab access to the simple affiliate funnel, plug and play your affiliate marketing offer, and then plug on the back end what you're promoting, start driving Facebook ads to it, start generating leads, Start following up and start crushing it in your freaking business. Thank me later, my friend. And with that being said, smash that like button. Smash that subscriber button. And let me know if you guys uh, have anything that you took away from that meeting. Comment below. What is your viewpoint on whether you use a sales funnel, whether you don't? Do you like to drive traffic to an actual sales funnel or not? I'm just rambling right now, so I'm going to get out of your freaking face. Grab the simple affiliate funnel, smash the like button, subscribe, and make sure you subscribe again so you can see my pretty face again. Eric Ellis Jr. checking out.